All right, we're going to go through a startup of a ProMix mixing system. We're going to go cover the components. Where our water comes in, here on the lower right-hand side, we have a solenoid valve. It's down underneath, being protected by our pump shelf, but it's easily accessible for the service we might need to do to it. It comes over, it's split into a primary dilution. The primary dilution comes up and into our mixing chamber. We go through a needle valve that lets us adjust our flow as we need to. It goes through a mag meter, which will display that flow for us. Comes up, goes into our mixing chamber. On our post dilution side, we also have a needle valve to adjust that. This post dilution side would be needed if we need a higher volume or if we need to slow the flow through the mixing chamber down so that the polymer spends more time with the me mechanical mixing that we're applying with our direct coupled mixing blade. Underneath the motor, we have a hose barb. We'll have some tubing attached to that. That tubing is an indicator if our mechanical seal that's passing through this lid, if it leaks, that polymer needs to go somewhere safely to be collected, maybe to a drain, but we just don't want the polymer to be laying on the skin. Next, we have a drain at the bottom. That would be if we need to service inside of the mixing chamber and drain it out, we can use that drain to do that. Above that, we have our Dialog X. The Dialog X is configured with all of the applications to control the process of our polymer mixing system. On the X controller, we have a LAN connection. We can hook that directly to our computer we also have Wi-Fi to be able to access this unit. On this side, we have a USB port. This USB port can be used to do firmware updates. It can be used to collect data from our data log, or if we want to save any changes we make to our configuration to customize it, we can use that USB port to do that. Here we have our terminal box and switch box. The switches are what we use as a customer, as a user, to control this unit. This top switch is our system start. If we turn it to the left counterclockwise, we turn the unit on here locally. If we turn it to the right, it's labeled remote. This unit would be expecting a contact from a device, whether it's the equipment that it's running in parallel with, or it could be from SCADA, it could be from uh, a, an external switch. Below that is the polymer pump switch. This is a two position switch. Uh, to the left, it's selected local. That means our speed is coming from our X controller. If we turn it to the right to the external, it will expect to see a four to 20 milliamp signal on the inside.